Hi, this is Richard from Boat Fittings. And for years we have been selling these 12 volt submersible pumps. A couple of different kinds uh, here. We sell quite a few different varieties of them. But these are usually for installing in boats uh, which run off a 12 volt system. And over the years we have had a lot of people phone us up and say, I want to use one of these in my home situation, running from 240 volts for whatever reason, such as pumping flood water out from a cellar or uh, distributing water around the garden for irrigation, that kind of thing. And what we have done is we have put together a kit of bits which will allow these pumps to run in a main situation. So in the kit we have got a 12 volt power supply, this one is a 5 amp version, we've also got a 10 amp version coming along. Uh, this is the mains lead, the UK mains lead to go with it. And the other thing we have is <coughs> some uh, extension wires, we've got 4 meters of the, uh, the black and the red to extend the wires from the bilge pump. We have a coaxial connector which fits onto the uh, end of the power supply and allows the, uh, the wires to go into it. And we have these waterproof solder butt connectors to, to allow you to get a good waterproof joint on the wiring. And the reason we have this wiring, by the way, is some of these bilge pumps, they don't come with a very long wire um, as standard. And the key thing about uh, what we're doing here is this is a mains power supply and we want to keep the mains bit of the system well away from the water. We want to keep it high and dry. So the, the extension wires that we provide, I'm going to, just going to strip the ends there. And this wire is actually pre-tinned wire, which is really good for marine stuff. And anything where it's going to um, be potentially damp over time because it stops it the copper strands corroding. Um, so it's good good forever. So what I'm going to do is grab one of the <coughs> bilge pump wires. I'm going to put the solder butt connector over. I prefer to pre-solder these joints. I think they work better that way. Uh, the uh, pre-tinned wire, I'm just going to put a bit of extra solder on it because the joint's going to work better that way. So we just get plenty of solder in onto there. And let's make that joint. Okay, that's one done. Okay, and this bit, this is where I'm going to get my little mini heat gun. Do the other one. Okay, so the solder joints are done. So now with the other end of the, the wires, we just need to strip a little bit off the end, just about four or five millimeters. Okay, so that's what we've got on the ends of that. And this coaxial connector, um, these will just push in. We've got to make sure we get the polarity right. So there's a little plus sign and a minus sign. So doing the positive first. 
get him in. Screw that down nice and tight. Nice and ready to go. Okay, so what we've got after doing that is we've got our bilge pump with its original wires, which have now been waterproof connected to our extension wires. And we have got loads of wire to allow us to get well away from the water we're dealing with, with our low voltage end of the system before we have a coax connector, which will plug into our main supply. There we go. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.